Chapter 4 The Tiger's Tale by Neil Segal. Psst! Look to your right, under the tree. Yes, it's I, the tiger. My name is Raja, and I am a Bengal tiger. I live with my mother and sisters in this beautiful national park. Our home has lakes, streams, and plenty of vegetation to hide behind. There is also a marvelous variety of prey to eat. Yes, it is awesome. At least it has been so far. I soon need to move out and live alone in my own territory. I've been looking around and most of the forest seems to belong to other male tigers. I can see and smell the signs. Huge scratch marks on trees and bushes sprayed with their scent. It's our way of saying, this area is taken. Don't set up camp here. I could try to fight the other older males for space, but they are bigger and stronger than I am. We tigers have a major space crunch. This forest is not large enough for the number of tigers who live here. There might be another tiger reserve not far away, but miles of human-occupied land lies in between. How am I supposed to get there? We urgently need protected areas connecting one reserve to another. Poachers come and kill us and sell our body parts for large sums of money. Others come to hunt wild pigs and deer. Forest guards have a difficult and dangerous job trying to keep us and our prey safe. When people take away our food, we are forced to sneak into farms and fields in the middle of the night and snatch cattle to eat. This upsets the farmers, who then try to kill us with poisoned meat. Just a hundred years ago, over one lakh wild tigers lived across Asia. Today, fewer than 4,000 tigers survive in the wild. Human beings have cut down forests to make homes for themselves. In the tiny part that remains as natural tiger habitat, people still want to make roads or set up other projects. I feel very angry about this. Humans have much more land than us. Why can't they stay away from our protected areas? Do you know that saving tiger forests is important for everyone? Carnivores eat deer, pigs and other herbivores that in turn eat grass and other vegetation. Nature maintains this delicate and perfect balance. If we disappear, there will be too many herbivores. The vegetation will be overgrazed all eaten up. That spells trouble for everyone. Humans, birds, insects and many other creatures. Tigers in a forest show that it's a healthy ecosystem. If tigers disappear from an area, other creatures are going to start dying too. We help with water too. Many of rivers run through tiger forests. When it rains, the trees and soil absorb the water, which is slowly released into the rivers. If you destroy forests, you destroy an important source of water. Years ago, people understood how to live in harmony with the natural world. They said that the forest is the mother of the river. So they left the forests undisturbed and let all creatures thrive in peace. But over the years, everything changed. People only care how forests and animals can benefit them. But there is still hope. In a few years, your generation can grow up and take charge. Then, things can get better for us. You understand that tigers need space and they should not be disturbed by humans. You know that we are all interconnected in a web of life. A world with free wild tigers is a sign that humans have learned to live together with all living creatures of the world. 
we must save our environment by protecting the forests and wild animals.